Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, the warmer weather made a comeback today with widespread 50s and really a lot of 60s this afternoon. And we're not done with this uh, this week. We are looking at another warm day tomorrow and probably Wednesday as well. Temperatures should peak tomorrow and then start to come down as we head into Wednesday. This afternoon, uh, again, uh, looking at th these warm conditions, it looks like Eau Claire will probably come up short of the record. As I mentioned earlier, La Crosse tied their record high for today. A very pleasant evening to enjoy and take advantage of, well, the longer daylight now as our sunset will be just after 7 p.m. now that we're on daylight saving time. 60s eventually cooling down into the 50s throughout the first part of tonight. Doing a little bit of a temperature tour across the area. Notice along Highway 8, well, many places again getting up to 60 degrees, including Hayward and Winter Ladysmith. As we look down to the south, temperatures are a little bit warmer. Chippewa Valley mostly in the upper 50s, up to the northeast in Taylor County, but low and mid 60s along the I-94 corridor heading over towards Baldwin and the Twin Cities. Uh, and down to the south, even a little bit warmer. This is where we have been flirting with those records this afternoon. Uh, looking at mid and upper 60s over in Juneau County and along I-90. There's that tie, record tying temperature in La Crosse, La Crescent also, and Winona and Alma both reaching 70 degrees this afternoon. Our average highs in the Cooley region are in the low 40s. 63 right now, a live look at our Nicolay Bank uh, Skycam out at Phoenix Park and uh, starting to look a little bit more spring-like out there. Of course, we haven't had any snow to make it look like winter, but maybe things just trying to green up just a hair uh, with these warmer conditions and a fair amount of sunshine of late. Winds west at about 7. The air is very dry. Good thing we haven't had strong winds because that fire risk is definitely on the higher side, and that'll be the case through tomorrow as well. So keep that in mind, uh, burning not recommended. A couple more warm days before we do see some chances, or changes rather. Here's your first alert to some rain on Thursday. We're still keeping an eye on the track of this, but looks like Eau Claire could be on the northern edges of uh, a decent rain, but favoring our southern counties for sure. And then it does look to turn colder as we head into the weekend. Right now, it's all about the warmth and look at this pocket of 70s from southern Minnesota through Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota. This will be translating to the east and southeast the next few days. So it looks like, again, our upstream for tomorrow is generally in this area. So we'll have a shot to get in the mid 60s, maybe some upper 60s uh, in the Chippewa Valley. And then uh, we'll start to cool off a little bit. Tonight, we're down in the upper 30s and low 40s. It's gonna stay mild. There's those mid 60s. Notice the widespread 70s get pushed a little bit farther south. Warm front lifting just to our north. That southwesterly flow, high clouds will help keep temperatures up for tonight. But it's going to stay dry, just partly cloudy conditions for tonight. We get back into a mostly sunny sky as we head on into tomorrow. And then eventually heading into Wednesday as we start to see a little bit more activity come our way, we will have a better chance to see some extra clouds before that transition towards well some cooler weather but also a chance for some much needed rain on Thursday. We're going to keep an eye on that because again it looks like we're on the northern edges but as we head into the weekend a uh, large upper trough looks to come across and that is a colder pattern. Mm. I haven't said the word cold in no. a long time but as you see even a week from next week or this week we could be in the 30s for highs. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's different than 2012, like we were talking about yeah. earlier. We're going to be talking a lot about those records here in the next few weeks. They'll be coming up. Uh, right. right when it looks like it gets colder yeah, here. Yeah, of course. We're not <laughs> going to be so lucky this time. <laughs> All right, thanks, Darren. A look back at Oscar.